William O. McCaig. Mark W. McNair. Lawrence F. Galvin. Kenneth L. Green. Mark C. Miller. Charles G. Nickel. Joseph T. Stanick. Dennis M. Prickolo, Trident Scholar. John F. Laudeman. Sitza J. Roden. <laughs> Jeffrey K. Dickman. John E. Whistler. <laughs> Anthony L. Wins. John L. Rogitz. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral James L. Holloway III, United States Navy, will be assisted by the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy Vice Admiral Kennard R. McKee, United States Navy, in presenting the remaining diplomas. Odd-numbered companies will receive their diplomas from my left, and the evening-numbered companies from my right. First company, Dale M. Allison. Second company, David W. Christie. Bernard T. Batesel. Christopher J. DeMarsh. 20th Company, Stephen P. Anderson. Thomas J. Harper. Dominic P. Baronado. Christopher C. Hassler. Leroy Bramlett. <laughs> Company, Mark S. Bensel. Charles C. Heffron. Mark C. Brew, Thomas A. Johnston, James W. Brown, Roger E. Kaplan, Otto P. Bulick, Lanny L. King, Christopher C. Bergen, William H. Laramore, Jr., Jeffrey D. Carpenter, William D. McCain III, Robert J. Fallon, Robert A. Vogt. Roger D. Watkins. Raymond R. Sands, Jr. William F. McAlpin.
graduates to be commissioned as second lieutenants, United States Marine Corps, rise. Admiral McKee, I present 143 midshipmen of the graduating class to be commissioned in the United States Marine Corps. Thank you, Captain Darby. General Samuel Jeskilka, Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps, will administer the oath of office to those being commissioned in the Marines. All midshipmen entering the United States Marine Corps, please raise your right hand. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps to rank from 7 June 1978, do you hereby accept such appointment and do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. Gentlemen, on behalf of the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Lewis Wilson, I will welcome you to the ranks of the few, the proud, the Marines. <laughs> Graduates to be commissioned ensigns in the United States Navy, rise. <laughs> Admiral McKee, I present 796 midshipmen of the graduating class to be commissioned ensigns, United States Navy. Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral James L. Holloway, will administer the oath of office to those being commissioned in the Navy. All midshipmen entering the United States Navy, please raise your right hand. Having been appointed an ensign in the United States Navy to rank from 7 June 1978, do you hereby accept such appointment? And do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental, mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I Gentlemen, the fleet welcomes you aboard. Ladies and gentlemen, our alma mater.
Please be seated. Mr. President, it's with great pleasure that I present to you a gift from the class of 1978. I'd like to read the inscription at this time. To the Commander-in-Chief, President Jimmy Carter, on the occasion of his second graduation, 32 years after the first, 7 June 1978, with respect and admiration from the U.S. Naval Academy, class of 1978. I propose three cheers for those who are about to leave us. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! I propose three cheers for those we leave behind. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! 